Ah, dear to Eva Macari, this is a ruin and son of a bitch. It is the revenge of the return of the little med vlog series, as I call it. So, a friend of mine has uh, been suggesting that uh, maybe I should do a video about being trans male, so F to M transsexual, in the goth community, and I keep shooting and then deleting and then reshooting bits that I hope to use for some kind of video of that sort, and the reason I keep doing it do-overs isn't necessarily for the sake of just doing it over because whatever, like, I don't know, like if I get too rambly or something, because uh, this latest time, and I was thinking of doing this today, actually, and I went to the post office today and I came back with a huge old package, so I'm gonna include that before I um, finish up the video. But, um, but then what happens is, um, so the reason that I keep thinking, okay, maybe I should do this over again, or, at the very, because it starts out, okay, first, first I start doing it, and then I decide, while I am, okay, yeah, that's what this is, I'm in the editing process, no, I, I, I'm just, I'm gonna have to cut too much from this, and because this is already so long, and I can't delete the, uh, the first take until after I've already saved the, um, the, uh, the exportable file on, uh, the program on my phone, so, and then I'm like, you know, and then I start thinking, okay, well, I'm kind of at a point where I think I just want to live my life, right? So, I have picked up that there are a number of people, uh, responding to certain more recent videos that I've made, at least through this one video where I'm going on about, uh, my potentially unpopular slash controversial, uh, trans-related opinions, and I've concluded that one of the people making a fool out of themselves in the comments is probably assuming that I'm a trans woman, just based on what this person is saying, that, you know, I'm not very well transitioned myself. Now my reply is something like, oh honey, like a dozen medical and uh, mental health professionals would seriously disagree with you there. And it took me until like just a couple days ago to realize, shit, I think he thinks I'm trans in the other direction. Funny story, one of my friends who I go to um, a game night with. She is a trans woman herself, and at first she thought I might have been as well, but just like, you know, or somehow AMAB, non-binary, whatever. And okay, I guess I can sort of understand the confusion, especially for her, because, um, I don't know, she starts to conversation with me about it by, uh, saying, oh, hey, I've got those jeans, too, uh, hot topic, right? And it's, uh, and I still have that pair of jeans, because I love them. I love purple jeans, and I'm reminding myself that. I keep talking about this series on denim and jeans care, and I really gotta get off my keister and do something in that general direction, shouldn't I? I should. So, I get a lot of people reading me that way, or at least it occurs to me that they may be reading me that way based on exactly what they said. Thinking I'm kind of at a point where I consider my medical transition complete, basically. I keep going back and forth whether or not I want to um, go back and get the, uh, the uh, testicular implant part of the surgery for the... Um, lower half, and I'm not sure I want to do that. On the one hand, what I've got there right now, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's small enough, and I keep thinking, um, now I'm also thinking, um, immediately post-op, or at least the 10-week 
uh, post-op mark. My surgeon gave me the all clear, and I'd mentioned something about the testicular implant option, and he says, oh, that would just be another surgery completely, and at that time, he was thinking um, that he wouldn't personally recommend it just because of the size and all at that time, but I'm also pretty sure, and this is where I'm going to have to go back into my photo log that I regularly back up on uh, both Google and OneDrive. The Google just is it's an automatic thing um, because of the Android phone. I really want a Windows phone, though. I really do. This is a thing that I want in my life. Don't try to discourage me from it. As soon as I'm at a point with this goddamn phone where I've had enough, I'm, I'm getting a Windows phone. Don't talk me out of it. Just, you have your opinions, I have mine. I can use whatever goddamn computers I want to, and that's basically what a smartphone is. It's a little tiny robot computer thing that fits in your pocket. As a as they tend to say. Uh, I don't know who says that besides myself. So I will have to consult the pictures because, you know, the, and, and, and as long as I'm not just, like, randomly sending them to people who don't want to see it, or, you know, at least not without asking if they want to see it first and then getting an affirmative yes in response, uh, I don't know, like, <laughs> I made this uh, Facebook update, I want to say, like, 11 or 12 weeks post-op, like, Around the time, maybe just before, maybe just after, I started hanging out with the latest X. But yeah, I take pictures of it with alarming regularity. To be fair, I... I waited... How the, the fuck am I? Oh god, yeah. About two years and... Fifteen and a half weeks ago. <laughs> because that's, that's how you count it. Uh, yeah, Star Wars Day of 2017, so, yeah, I had to wait, let's see, yeah, I had to wait, like, 36 years for it, and almost nine hours of surgery when they'd originally, like, scheduled me off for something like six and a half hours of surgery. I went around two hours more than they had originally budgeted for at the, uh, hospital. It's been two years, I've been doing things that various people recommend, like... Uh, well, of course, continuing with the HRT for obvious reasons, because I've got nothing producing any kind of hormone in me anymore. They pulled all that out on, uh, at the surgery that day that I got my wiener. And, uh, then what happens is, um, oh, right. So, yeah, some people, like, recommend vacuum pumps, and I was thinking to myself while I'm reading this as I'm, like, healing and shit. And I did find a seller online that, you know, was a trans man-focused website selling various accoutrements and whatnot. I actually emailed him um, back and forth, just, like, asking some questions, like, hey, is this, like, little cheap-ass kit that you've got, is this going to be compatible with... Uh, maturioplasty, and he says, oh, yeah, absolutely, should be, uh, if not, you know, and when you need a bigger cylinder, contact me, and I keep meaning to, because I could probably stand to have a bigger size at this point. It's been a while since I've done it for that reason, but I'm like, I look at the, um, what's it called, the cylinders just by themselves, and, but yeah, either way, the important thing is, is that there has been some growth since surgery, so I keep going back and forth, like, okay, do I want to get the, um, the, uh, the thing there, on there, and, like, it'll be basically cosmetic, you know, for whatever that's worth, but it would look significantly closer to how it quote-unquote should, and that would be helpful in certain areas, well, eh, I mean, as far as, like, I don't know, Depending on how far we're extending the definition of cosmetic, uh, it's like it's not going to produce hormone on its own, but, um, I mean, it'll be there, and that will have some um, influence on things like walking and sitting and all of that, so uh, I'm thinking at the very least it couldn't hurt, especially if I can get in for a consultation. But anyway, I was getting sidetracked about um, crotchular activities. And the thing that I was getting distracted from is that, so, at this point, as far as, like, you know, 
whether or not I would consider um, as complete as anybody's transition can be, that is where I consider myself at this point. I don't know. I think the longer my, uh, my situation goes on, the more I'm thinking I'm not completely unsold on the notion of um, getting the, uh, the little uh, the, the bowling balls next to my stately gentleman. <laughs> uh, the things we do to retain some semblance of thwarting um, YouTube's automatic demonetization strategies of whatever's, right? Yeah, I'm basically like completely transitioned, and after um, my uh, my situation, who's back home on the British Isles, and I don't know if I mentioned where exactly on said he's um, he's he's from and living at, uh, but uh, but yeah, that uh. It's, it's long distance, I don't know, he definitely knows that I want to visit, and he is looking forward to, uh, settling in, like, you know, buying an apartment, uh, flat, whatever. He's definitely looking forward to buying one, so that is, that is his kind of financial stability, and having me come visit is just, we did have a clear conversation, he's not completely, if meaningfully out to his mother, who he is currently staying with until the situation, um, you know, with his housing, um, resumes normalcy, which is fine. Like, I understand that this is not a good time for me to come and stay with him in his childhood bedroom <laughs> and all of that. As I said to somebody in one of the comments on a thread in my videos. For all I know, he, you know, creeped through my Facebook profile, and I mean that, like, not in, like, a, um, not in a negative way, you know, more like, I don't know, I was trying to look for another word, like, but, uh, but, like, you know, like, that creepy, crawly, uh, sort of deal, like, that kind of creeping through my, uh, through my Facebook profile, like, just enough to learn this on his own. I'm relatively unprecious about the fact that I'm transsexual male, but at the same time, just the fact that I have not had to have that kind of conversation with him about it. Like, for all I know, he could have very well, like, looked through my profile and on Facebook and for coming over and saw that about me and is just completely cool with it, and sees no reason to bring it up, or anything like that. Or, for all I know, he could be, maybe he put it together when he saw the scars on my chest, or maybe, as per a couple comments to strangers who have seen my junk, and yes, this is an admission that there is at least one of said photos in an intentionally public online platform. I'm not going to say where, but if you really want to look for it, you might be able to find it. At the very least, if you accidentally find it, you will probably recognize it as me because of, um, because of visible tattoos. <laughs> I have some very distinct tattoos that is hard to confuse with anybody else's. But that's another story for another time. So, um, and so yeah, like, every once in a while I'll get a comment from somebody on that photo, a couple of photos, I don't remember if it's one photo or two photos, there's definitely a very, very short video clip. Why am I admitting all of this? Hell if I know. Um, but yeah, every once in a while, somebody will comment on that asking if I am intersex, and I just don't respond. I just don't respond to comments asking questions about this, because I just, I don't think it's anybody's business. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if he came to that conclusion, as some people ask, or if he just assumed that I am one of the least lucky men in the world, <laughs> as far as that all goes. I just like the fact that I don't have to bring this up in every single relationship, that it does not even have to be a topic of conversation before we engage in, as I've said, a pants-off situation. 
and I understand that there are a lot of trans people who even post-op, even trans women where in their post-op below the belt situation is in simplest terms a lot easier to pass off for homegrown than least certain female to male options are as far as that below the belt surgery. Um, so I don't know, it's, it's just, I, I like the fact that it doesn't have to come up, and the more I think about the fact that I like that this doesn't have to come up, that it does not have to be a topic of discussion in whatever the hell is going on right now with, uh, with my young man, 12 years my senior, and I. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, as I said, I clearly have a type, and that is whatever, you know, losers are crazy enough to put up with my nonsense. So, uh, so yeah, I, I like the fact that it doesn't have to come up. And, like I said, I understand that there are a lot of trans people for whom it is very important to bring this up at some point. Even if they're post-op, even if it is somehow 100% homegrown looking, um, in either transsexual direction. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do a video about being transsexual male and goth. I don't know. I don't know. I know I keep going back and forth on whether I want to or whether I just like what I'm doing now where I'm generally allowed to just be and if it comes up, it comes up and I don't have to be precious about it and, you know, dance around the topic, you know, and if it doesn't come up or there's no need for me to say anything about it, then I don't have to, right? I like that. I like that I can be... I'm not the biggest fan of the term stealth, but it's like, I don't know, like, discreet in this context usually carries on a whole different context, especially when we're talking about men who do various jobs with other men. <laughs> and yes, that's probably the hand gesture you think I'm making, so... Um, so yes, I have a giant package. Wah! I got this from... What's that called? The post office today. I also got a couple other things from the post office today. Uh, this this actually came to my apartment. I don't know why my Ulta um, sales catalog of sorts, because you have to have these full, you know, images of everything telling you what all the sales are for the month. I don't know. I don't know why this comes to my apartment. I'm glad that when it does, nobody steals it, as people in this neighborhood just do. And, and it's students. It's almost always students that are stealing people's mail, too. Because, like, when this came up in one of the um, Ypsilanti discussion forums on Facebook about this. Of course, there were people automatically going for racist assumptions, but then a couple people put up cameras on their porch and film people, you know, stealing packages either from the camera owner's porch or from a neighbor's porch, and it is, at least in all of the videos that have been posted onto the Facebook discussion group I'm in for Ypsilanti, it is always white guys. It is always white guys, approximately student age, um, a couple of them, there are at least two, who have those goddamn hipster mustache-beard combos. You know the kinds I'm talking about. Y you know the kind of, like, hipster mustache and beard things I'm talking about. You don't always get a good look at their face because of various hipster hats and whatnot, but you can at least see enough to be like, oh my fucking god, it's a... <sighs> And yeah, it's always white guys. It's always white guys stealing people's mail when they're, when this, at least when the videos get posted onto Facebook about it. So, yeah, <laughs> that is, I don't trust the students in this area and for, like, I don't know, like, adult education and stuff. This is, like, the classes that I'm interested in usually have 
a higher, um, usually have a higher uh, cost than I can justify the price of. This is, this is one of the great mysteries of my life. Since I've moved into this apartment, I've had a subscription to Out Magazine, and I don't know where it came from. I've been here five years this September. I have no idea why I get this magazine. I, I really don't, but somehow the gay agenda has found me and is sending me this magazine. And has been for five years. And I don't know why. I really don't. <laughs> so, what came in my giant package? I have from Kristen, uh, last initials, JL, and we just got a very, um, this says, enjoy your gift, so I guess she didn't, um, think of anything awesome and personal to add, so, okay, it looks like I have six quarts of almond milk, which should be more than enough to, uh, was this, yes, this was in my, uh, in my Amazon wish list. So thank you so much for including the, for sending this out. I, uh, your comment, it said it was going to be a little gift, and I guess I had forgotten I put it there, either that or, um, I had ticked the box to leave it on my, um, on the wish list. I don't remember. So I wasn't expecting, uh, six quarts of of, uh, of almond milk, but again, thank you so much. Oh my gosh! So this is going to uh, uh, God. Oh, that's right, son of a bitch! I should have. That's what I forgot to call today. Um, my DHS caseworker did not get back to me this week like he was supposed to. So uh, let's see. Monday is Labor Day, so Tuesday I'm going to make myself a note right when I'm done with this to call on Tuesday and figure out what the hell is going on. Either way, I uh, food stamps refill again on the 19th. I go back on the 26th to uh, the food pantry at the church up around the corner from me. Um, I did not get uh, their little uh, printout this last time for, um, for what? Um, their thing, their thing. Oh, this little printout that they've, that they've got that, uh, lists other, um, like, you know, like, food distro, um, things in the area and all of that. Uh, I don't think they had those this time, but I have one from a previous time I'd been there. Oh, yeah, like, the last time I was there, like, back in May. And I'm pretty sure I saw it recently enough. I'll find it. I'll find it. Worst case... I will see if they have one next month. And so, again, thanks so much, uh, Kristen JL, for sending me all the almond milk, or at least six quarts enough. So, let's see, a uh, quart that is two pints, and I have um, one eight ounce glass every morning with my breakfast, so that would be two pints is two cups. So, um, 32 ounces divided by four, so that's like, uh, uh, four, eight, four, eight, um, 12, 16, 20, 24 days worth of breakfast right here, plus whatever's left in the carton in my fridge, which, uh, which was, um, so delicious, uh, no, 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 it was the, um, it was the Whole Foods branded one, and I went there, and I went to Whole Foods to get bread, and there was, like, a very slight sale on the Whole Foods branded coconut milk, I believe, and either way, it came to, like, maybe, like, 15, 20 cents more than it is at Kroger, so... Not a huge difference in price, you know, like, like that 15 cents isn't going to kill me if it means, um, one, I have, um, I have my, uh, well, my nut milk for the morning breakfast, 
um, the next day. And B, I don't have to potentially run into the X at the Kroger to buy the Whole Foods, um, nor, do I ha nor did I have to get a bus that day to the Kroger, uh, the one that the X does not work at. <laughs> it's like, and it's not that I mind necessarily running into him, but it's because a friend of mine got conned into renewing the lease with him, and I understand why she um, felt that she was kind of in a bind and sort of had to, but he's driving her absolutely bonkers, and every time I go in there, he says something to her later in the day about it, and I'm just like, you know, the easier that my friend's life is the better, so it's not that I avoid going into the Kroger where he works for any kind of, you know, desire of mine to avoid him for the sake of my own sanity, because I personally find it hilarious that he gets paranoid every time I'm in there, but knowing that he gets, like, all inquisitive at my friend who still has to deal with his behind every time he sees me in there. I'm just like, no, I'll just keep shit as easy on my friend as I can. And if I don't absolutely have to go in there for whatever reason, then there's no need for me to. But again, again, thanks again so much for almost a month's worth of almond milk. Oh my gosh. I want to fill the bathtub with it and then just sit in it. No, I'm not going to do that because I... I need to clean the bathtub first, and I don't like cleaning it. <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. So, yeah, bats and kisses, everybody, and take care of yourselves, and good night! I'm gonna go back to watching more videos, and cats have discovered the box, and now they're playing with it.